Namaste. Today we will be studying about the three gunas. Uh, they are very significant. It's a wonderful way of understanding our mental life. And there's a whole chapter in the Bhagavad Gita dedicated to this, Gunatraya Vibhaga Yoga. It is in order to understand our nature, our own mind. See, these gunas are characteristics of uh, characteristic of Sankhya philosophy. There you will find Prakriti is Gunamayi. She is... Uh, she has all these three gunas. And since everything other than pure consciousness is prakriti, everything in this universe, all people, all minds, even up to the gods, they are endowed with, or you can say, given to these three gunas. So these are in different proportions in different people. And uh, in a very sattvic person, what are the lakshanas or what are the signs? In a very rajasic person, what are the signs? In a tamasic mind, what are the signs? All this you will find in the Bhagavad Gita. A lot of its understanding of human perception, human will, human desire, even our food habits, our lifestyle, our attitudes, our uh, understanding and knowledge, all of this is determined by the gunas. So, according to the proportion of these gunas in our system, we manifest these qualities. It's a wonderful way of understanding our own mental life and mind. So, let us go into some understanding of these gunas. Lord Krishna says, Sattva Raja Tama Iti Guna Prakriti Sambhavaha Nibadnanti Mahabaho Dehe Dehinam Avyayam so, in the Gunatraya Vibhaga Yoga, the Lord says that these three gunas, Sattva, Raja, Tama, hmm, they are born out of Prakriti and Nibadnanti, they bind, Dehe Dehinam Avyayam, they bind the indweller, indwelling soul with his body. He gets identified with the body-mind complex. It's all the work of the gunas, the play of Prakriti. Then what is the nature of these gunas? Tatra Sattvam Nirmalatvat Prakashakamanamayam Sukha Sanghena Badnati Jnana Sanghena Chanagha The nature of the Sattva Guna is because of its clarity. Nirmalatvat Prakashakamanamayam It is full of light. So it is full of uh, transparency, you can say. It is full of the light of awareness. That is why the Sattvic mind will be luminous always. The sattvic uh, thought will always be luminous. The sattvic habit will always be positive. So, due to the nature of sattva, due to its clarity, its pristine purity and its luminous tendency, it attaches the soul, how? By, through knowledge and through happiness. Sukha sanghena badhnati jnana sanghena chanagha. It will ma manufacture such a level of knowledge and happiness that that can bind the soul. How can knowledge, knowledge liberates you may say. But you know until one plunges into Brahman, all knowledge is in a sense binding. It is giving you more freedom but still it is a form of binding, bondage. And happiness also is like that. By giving you higher and higher levels of happiness, sattva helps you to, to discriminate, to understand. But ultimately, it is also a guna. It will bind you. I remember the beautiful story given by Sri Ramakrishna of uh, these three gunas as three robbers. So, you know, once they robbed, uh, uh, the story goes like this. There was one man f uh, passing through a forest and it is said that Three robbers came and one of them actually just uh, wanted to tie him up and go away. And another said, no, no, uh, why should we do that? Let's uh, kill him. And the other was, and the third person was ready to kill him. But uh, they left him just like that and they ran away, all three of them, after robbing him. But after some time, one of the robbers, the one who didn't want him killed, came and showed him the way back to his village. What it means to say is, Sattva will show you the way back to your home, but it is still a robber. And Rajas and Tamas, of course, are there to bind you fast and to kill you also. So the meaning of this is, all the three gunas, 
will bind you to a certain extent but it is always sattva that ultimately liberates it is only we have to pass through the gate of sattva to go to the higher transcendental knowledge rajas and tamas tamas of course is indolence laziness and a uh, very low kind of mind but rajas is about action and activity and it will produce restlessness attachment all this also but the way is from tamas to rajas and rajas to sattva many times people confuse sattva for tamas this should also not happen vivekananda was insistent once you 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 must wake up to activity and then go beyond activity so that is how these uh, the beautiful characteristics of these gunas are described even in the bhagavad gita you see the characteristic of rajas is described like this rajo ragatmakam vidhi trishna sangha samudbhavam tanni bandhati kaunteya karma sangena dehinam rajas is ragatmakam it is of the nature of attachment and trishna sangha samudbhavam with its proximity comes desire and sangha attachments and how does it bind the human soul karma sangena dehinam through action the restlessness of our minds doesn't uh, it doesn't allow us to keep quiet and this can act as a very great binding factor in our lives so sattva binds you through higher happiness and higher knowledge and rajas binds you through action which is impelled only by your restlessness tamas the third guna tamas tu agnyanajam vidhi mohanam sarvadehi nam pramadalasya nidra bhi tanni badnati bharata what does tamas do agnyanajam vidhi it is born of ignorance and it it brings about mohanam uh, delusion in all beings in all uh, embodied beings and it produces as a result inadvertence pramad means inadvertence or oversight lack of attention basically so you will commit mistakes alasya alasya is laziness listlessness and nidra bhi you require 12 hours of sleep 10 hours of sleep when the mind is filled with tamas indolence and dullness it blocks all light so you require more sleep you are more indolent you are lazy and you will keep making mistakes this is the nature of tamas then you see how beautifully it has been entirely comprehensively put before you sattvam sukhe sanjayati raja karmani bharata jnanam avritya tu tama pramade sanjayatyuta so sattva will produce sukha the feeling of happiness hmm? the satvik mind will keep you happy but rajasik mind will impel you towards action and the tamasik mind will impel you towards ignorance and indolence and this is why this is how the mind based upon what uh, proportion of sattva it is imbued with accordingly it will perform if it is satvik by nature it will remain happy and content if it is rajasik by nature it will be extremely uh, passionate and restless and if it is tamasik it will be indolent and lazy everything in our life in fact knowledge food and your lifestyle everything is determined by the preponderance of any of these gunas so everyone has all three gunas but in different proportions which one uh, preponderates or uh, dominates according to that is your nature then he says sattva sanjayate gnanam from sattva comes knowledge rajaso lobha evacha from rajas comes greed pramad moha tamas tamaso inadvertence and delusion come from tamas so that is why sat becoming satvik is so important before we aim at the higher transcendental levels of uh, realization achievement one must produce a very satvik life initially without that it is impossible that is why the lord then says urdhvam gachanti satvastha madhye tishthanti rajasaha jaganya gunavrittistha ado gachanti tamasaha one who has sattva will move upward one who has rajas uh, dominating will stay right where he is and one who is merely tamasik will go down to very low levels uh, he will have a hellish experience right here on earth 
because that is the nature of tamas so please understand without a sattvic life whenever we uh, sort of don't exercise our will properly and develop the wrong sanskars you must understand you are actually generating tamas in your system speaking untruths uh, all kinds of corrupt activities unlawful thoughts will only generate tamas and it will reduce us to this level again if you want to rise in life you must bring clarity into your mind which means it filters more awareness from your being and this kind of a mind more knowledge more focus in life more attention to the right things and sattvic habits will definitely lift our mind to the higher level so it is in us what we choose whether we choose to be sattvic rajasic or tamasic and this will affect our entire personality as well as our life our entire life so let us take care of this it's a beautiful way of understanding our inner life and mental development om shanti shanti shanti